What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now it seemed like a very dormant first quarter for Marvel Studios was well, because we didn't have a film between Spider-Man No Way Home and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness along five months, but now that the delays seemingly are out of the way, we've got four movies coming a year for the next two years and five unannounced dates, one for 2023 and four for 2024 that Marvel Studios have yet to attach a title to an already scheduled release date for their slate. But in the last month alone, after the release of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and the very public retreat that Marvel Studios announced they were going to have to discuss the next 10 years of Marvel, we've had a ton of updates from the industry. We can basically peg at least four of the five movies coming out, maybe even attach them to dates given Marvel's track record and speculate just a little bit as to what that mystery fifth film could be. Some of the films and titles we thought might get attached to it in 2024 have actually been been rumored for Disney Plus, leaving that slot wide open. We're breaking down everything the five unannounced movies for 2024 slash 2023 in the end of Marvel Phase 4. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. If you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so as it stands right now and with half of 2022 gone, the most recent announcement by Marvel Studios, a change to their Phase 4 slate, was just the swap of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and the Marvel's release date in 2023. No other delays or movements for the current films or release dates. That leaves us with one date in 2023, November 3rd, and four dates in 2024, February 16th, March 3rd, July 26th, and November 8th. And again, these are all official dates dates announced by Disney and Marvel Studios just without an official title attached. Now three of those five films have been teased since 2019, that's Deadpool 3, Fantastic Four, and Blade. We've actually had official updates about those films, Deadpool most recently updating that they'd moved past locking in the sponsors and were moving on to script and story, that most likely shooting next year slated for a 2024 release date. Same with Fantastic Four where you may have heard they lost their director, but much in the way Doctor Strange did the same thing with Scott Derrickson, that was right before they locked in Sam Raimi and went directly to the next part of script and filming. We assume the same, that moving to its last part of production and filming next year, which for me, and this is the speculation part, lines both of these movies up for a one-two punch February 16th 2024 for Deadpool remember the first one was put out somewhere around Valentine's Day and usually that first film of the year introduces a brand new team or a brand new hero conversely May 3rd usually in May is when they put the huge new team or marquee film May 3rd 2024 looking like the most possible place for Fantastic Four out of these five release dates that leaves Blade which seems to be the slowest moving and have the least updates but does have writers attached in a director moving forward rather fast at this point and I might assume that if Marvel Studios stays with that last date in 2023 that may be the first to be released as all of these moving pieces in the Eternals with Dane Whitman, what we saw with Moon Knight, the upcoming Werewolf by Night seem to be setting up the pieces for that film and at a rather rapid rate and remember when you're fighting monsters instead of humans it kind of opens the door to a lot of kinds of violence that they can't normally put on Disney Plus or and on the silver screen and keep it PG-13 that's where I expect them to go with the MCU monster side of the MCU and again this is one of the few films announced back at 2019's San Diego Comic-Con Hall H that still hasn't been put on the release date so expect it as one of these five films. But going further than that, we actually know the fourth film as well, as confirmed by multiple industry insider trades. And our track record when running with these kind of projects and their announcements is rather good. Remember, guys, Hollywood is really small. And even though certain people sign NDAs, certain agents of those people don't. They talk via text right after it happens. This is how this stuff gets out. Captain America 4 will be one of the films announced by Marvel Studios in their next big announcement is almost ready. They've been working on that script for over a year. It was officially confirmed the last day the finale went live for Falcon and the Winter Soldier last year. We expect that to be a 2024 release date as well. And that's the only other film that's had as good as confirmation or hasn't officially been teased by Marvel Studios going back to 2019, where they did introduce Blade and said they were working on a Fantastic Four, but then still haven't officially announced those films or release dates. That leaves one last slot open at the end of 2024 
for a film Marvel Studios has not teased at all in an official way. And while some of you may jump up with titles like perhaps Nova, that recently has been rumored for Disney+, Plus. and if you're thinking maybe Spider-Man 4, that's rather rumored for 2025, and usually Sony handles that release date because they're the ones handling the distribution. Of all of the industry insider reports we've covered in mass, and we do it every day at the channel, guys, and are going on five years of this, there are two Marvel films that have popped up more with loose rumors than any others. The first of which, the World War Hulk film, finally Mark Ruffalo getting his own solo Hulk film, and we expect to see his storyline in some way go a lot further during this upcoming She-Hulk. It's the only other place we've actually seen any banner-centric action and in a rather long time, and is one of those things where if Marvel Studios is going to take a chance to bring him to a new place, this is going to be it. Also, fingers crossed if they can introduce Wolverine and rather soon, we can finally see the classic Hulk-Wolverine matchup that we've never seen before on the silver screen, and the opportunity and the door for that to happen are closing and rather quickly. The only other film that's had enormous enough rumors to support it actually being in production at Marvel Studios, although we've had no word of this at all, would be an X-Men film, rumored to be retitled The Mutants for its first installment as an MCU franchise, but there have been no explainers for mutants at all in the MCU. In places where you would have expected that to happen already, like what happened with the snap and the blip, the consequence of that, what happened during Eternals and a seeding of the Earth to contain the mutant gene, what we just saw in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness when Professor X himself showed up, who founds the whole institute for gifted youngsters. Yet still, no explanation by Marvel Studios at all, and the most recent explainer from Michael Waldron, the writer on Doctor Strange, was they didn't want it to be all about mutants, so they left that out completely. Kind of would make sense if Marvel Studios wants to keep that up and leave the mutant explainer out of other films because they feel like it'll gobble up all the attention for what's the true narrative of that film, that you leave it for a film called The Mutants and explain mutants in that place. I just don't understand how they're going to retcon their existence in the MCU up till then if you need characters like Wolverine to have already existed for quite a while given his age and longevity, his storyline going backwards in the MCU. And honestly, just thinking out loud, Doctor Strange 3, if he's going to be the one to help solve the multiversal crisis, if it doesn't fledge into a full-on Secret Wars by then, but the end of 2024, guys, to me, way too soon to try to push out a Secret Wars story. We still have a lot of characters that need to be introduced and storylines that need to mature before we even get to that point. Let me know all your thoughts down below, what you think and what you want out of that unlabeled fourth film for 2024. I am all ears. There are a lot of good ones. And don't worry, guys, we got plenty of time. They said they were on their way to plan the next 10 years of Marvel Studios, and I can't wait to see what that announcement looks like. Let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s. We're doing so every 20,000 subscribers all the way up to a million. We just announced a brand new winner two videos ago, and we're well on our way to the next giveaway at 980. So if you want to be entered to win or for any of the other future giveaways, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here, never in the comments. So if you see those really annoying WhatsApp spammers, just report the comment and keep it moving. We do all announcements in videos. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking that channel out, thanks for checking this one out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.